Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, another quick tutorial here on what's going to be masking. Essentially we're going to take this model out from a different background and plop it on this blue. And I chose this image because the feathers are tricky. The tutu is a little uh, weird and it's kind of a similar technique for crazy hair. So if you're masking hair this can help. And plus, I mean, it's a feather mask and a valentine shirt and a tutu. So this is what we're going to end up with. And this is what we're starting with. So uh, essentially a mask is a black and white layer that where the white will come through and the black will be masked, like masking tape. So uh, first thing I want to do is create some copies of my background layer. So hit Control J a couple times to do that. Now I need to delete the studio space because we don't need any of this. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool with L. Just come around here hit uh, D for my default colors, then hit control backspace to fill with white. So I'll grab this side now, control backspace, fill with white. Now to create our mask, we essentially need to create a really high contrast layer with from the model from the background, this kind of grayish background. And we're kind of lucky because that we have this like, uh, uniform gray. Other images it can be tough, like you have to combine layers and stuff, which it's doable, but it's just a little trickier. So to do this, I'm gonna hit my black and white adjustment layer and then fiddle with the knobs a little bit. So I'm gonna drop the reds, because I know the tutu is red, and not don't go crazy, because we don't wanna block everything out. So just be kind of subtle, let some of the tutu color come <laughs> come through, and. Drop the yellows a bit because I know the feathers are yellow and there's some yellow in her skin tones. So I'll drop that a bit. And that's a pretty good start. So now I'm going to commit this black and white layer we just made to background copy 2. So to do that, hit Control E to uh, commit it. Now, now what we're going to do is brush in, because she has to be completely black and this has to be completely white. So what we're going to do is brush in those colors with overlay brush. So get your brush, hit B, set your mode to overlay. And opacity you can fiddle around with, but we'll start with 100%. And what uh, this allows us to do is brush in, depending on what your foreground and background colors are, and we have black and white, <clears throat> is brush in with black, in this case, and not affect the light, or white, or just the lighter part of, uh, part of the spectrum of the image. So it's kind of cool. You can kind of brush in and not really affect the, the light parts. So I'm going to do that for her torso where we can be less uh, careful. But now I'm going to zoom into the feathers and we can kind of see grab my brush tool where this is helpful. And adjusting the opacity here helps too. So I'll go uh, a little lighter and just click around, darkening up the feathered edges. And then uh, to switch, to do the outside, hit X to uh, switch your foreground and background colors. And you'll do that a lot, so try to remember that. To X is switching your uh, foreground and background colors. So do that. Bump up my opacity a bit to get it white. Make sure your brush is soft as well. If you don't know, uh, right click, set hardness to zero, kind of get these edges. And I'm going kind of quick just for uh, time's sake, video's sake, get these edges. And I'm sorry if you're seeing fracturing here, it's my uh, video recorder, isn't that great? I'm going to zoom out and do this. And you can adjust your brush size with the bracket keys. So the right bracket is larger brush left is smaller and I'm going to just go around here and get this stuff and what I mean nice about overlay is like you can be less careful when you're going over these edges and things and if you feel you go too far just hit X to switch the colors kind of click back the darkness in get her shoes legs kind of click around here and I know uh, the newer versions of Photoshop have pretty good methods of 
masking out and mask edges and stuff so so those might be just as good or better but this is kind of an older uh, way to do it let you get in there and kind of be precise so that looks okay and now <clears throat> I have to make her face completely black because we want that to come through so I'm gonna just zoom in grab my brush switch back to normal opacity 100 percent make sure I have black as my foreground color and just uh, set my hardness to 100 and just click around in here being careful not to hit the edges because we're in normal mode again so get some of these spots and we're gonna have to eventually uh, inverse this because again white reveals and black conceals so we want her to come through so uh, I'm gonna hit control I to do that and doing that you can kinda see some places you missed if you feel like uh, you missed some places kinda go over your image again make sure you're hitting all the edges but it looks okay for now let's test it out on our blue background layer so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna click the background select uh, put a new layer in between there grab my blue swatch hit G for my paint bucket tool and just click now we don't see it because we have layers on top but it's there so now uh, the last kind of part is to put our black and white layer which is a layer now and make it a layer mask so to do that I'm gonna hit my background copy which is where we want our layer mask hit the layer mask button but uh, select your black and white layer hit control A control to select all and control C to copy it now to paste it inside the layer mask we can't just hit control V because that'll make a new layer and that's not what we want so I'm gonna control Z to undo that then I'm gonna alt click on your layer mask to go in there so now we can paste it hit control V and uh, now we're good to go and we can kinda see what we got and there it is it's not bad could use some work but um, yeah it's okay so some final touches let's see oh and I mean with this now that you've done this you can always still go back and uh, fix something so with your layer mask selected just grab your brush and um, and you can paint some things in so make sure you have your overlay maybe adjust the opacity a bit but if you want some more to come through or more to be hidden just kind of go in here and kind of touch up some things like yeah her feathers probably want some more feathers to come through and if you if you get some bad edges you can go in there with a blur tool and kind of blur it out it helps sometimes or uh, yeah so let me just add the final touch I'm going to do a SKP for SCOP. Oop. Make sure it's black. Okay, cool. So I hope this helped. It can help for uh, masking hair and stuff like that, or if you're masking tutus or feathers. So uh, I hope you liked. Leave comments, questions in the comment section, and that's it. Till next time.